Hi, I'd like to show you how to use uh, IXL to do the find ac equivalent activities using area models um, activity. Um, so basically the area models here are meant to help. Um, so for example, this first one, you see there's one half. Basically there are, the denominator in any fraction means how many pieces of the whole you have. So in this example, you've got two pieces, and one of them is shaded. So the numerator is how many pieces are going to be shaded, and the denominator stands for how many pieces there are. So in the example of one half, the model is showing us that you have two halves, you have two pieces, and one of them is shaded. So that stands for one half. Um, so the model actually helps. It just helps you visualize what it is that the fraction is showing you, or telling you, and it's just telling you the same information in a different way. So this other model, um, you've got a hole, and it has the same amount shaded as in this one, um, but it has six parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six parts, and three of them are shaded. So this is basically just showing you that three shaded parts out of six is the same as one shaded part out of two. So basically three sixths is equal to one half. The area models are showing you conceptually what's happening when we look at the fractions. So there's three parts shaded out of six. The answer is three out of six pieces. So for this one, um, the one that they give you is four six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six parts, and four of them are shaded. So that's where they're getting the four six from. And then in this other one, there's another hole, and it's divided into three parts, one, two, three, and they give us that denominator. They tell us that there are three parts. We can also see that there are three parts. And we can see that two of the three parts are shaded, so we'll just put two over three. This one, we've got six parts, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two of the six parts are shaded, so we're going to put two over the six. And then here we've got three parts, one, two, three. One of the three parts is shaded, so we've got one third. And so now we can just kind of keep track of the fact that two six is equal to one third. Um, and so eventually when we have a problem where we don't have these area models, we can just be aware that two six is equal to one third. And that's what we mean when we reduce, for example, is we're basically saying these are worth the same thing. If I had a pizza with six slices and I ate two of them, I would have eaten the same amount of pizza as if I had a pizza broken into three slices and ate only one of the three slices. That's basically what we're saying. Um, great, so now this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, and one of the pieces is shaded. That's what they mean when they say one-fifth. And here they're telling us, they already tell us that there are two pieces shaded, and we have to tell them how many pieces there are total, so we'll just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten pieces of the pie, two of them are shaded, two tenths. Awesome. Um, so I'm actually going to jump forward a couple of levels, let's get to some of the more difficult ones. Okay, this, this one they're not giving you pieces of pie, they're giving you like a big square. Um, so basically what they're telling you is that there are eight pieces in the square, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that checks out. How many of those pieces are shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six pieces shaded out of the eight. So we're gonna put six over the eight. And they're just letting you know that, hey, six eighths is gonna be the same as three fourths. Basically, if we combined each, every two of these, we would have four pieces and three of them would be shaded. So a fraction basically means that there are that there's that much there's three out of the four parts that would make a whole or as this model shows us there's six out of the eight parts that make a whole 
All right, so this one, they're letting us know that 8 tenths is what they actually have shown in the diagram. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 8 of them are shaded. Now, we want to find out how many would be shaded, or how many would we need to have in order to have that broken into four equal parts instead of eight equal parts. So this, the amount shaded, we're gonna just take this amount shaded and we want, we have four, we're gonna want four pieces and then it's asking out of how many total. My guess is four is half of eight. So if we combined every two of these, then we would probably get an equivalent fraction. So if I took two of these together and I counted those as one, and then I took these two and I counted them as two, and then I took these two and I counted them as three, these two, four, these two, five. If I basically broke in these ten pieces, I combined every two of them so that I had five equal pieces, then I would have four pieces of it shaded. So I'm going to put five there. Another way to think of it is 4 is half of 8, 5 is half of 10. Um, so equivalent fractions, as long as the, um, the comparison is the same with the numerator, the number of pieces you have, and the denominator, how many pieces the whole is broken into, as long as those, that comparison is the same, um, that you can divide or multiply it by the same number, then you have an equivalent fraction. So 5 times 2 is 10, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4, 10 divided by 2 is 5. All right, this one, we're starting by showing what's happening. Uh, so we're going to let them know how many of these 10 pieces are shaded in. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, we've got 10 pieces. And how many are shaded in? There's one, two, three, four, five. So we'll just put five tenths is what this diagram is showing us, this model is showing us. And then if I have half, this one's actually pretty easy because if you just visualize this, it, it looks like it is one half. One half of this circle is shaded in. So I can just put that there, there's one half. Um, if I combined these five pieces and these five pieces, then I would have one set of five pieces that is shaded in and a second set that's not. So I would have two pieces in total and one of them would be shaded in. So the model is actually meant to help us visualize what's happening with the fractions, um, not to add a another level of complication. All right, it's your turn.